Finally, on News 5 tonight, a government worker responsible for collecting millions of dollars in fines and fees, also responsible for a $7 million budget. But who's responsible for the clerk of courts and the people he decides to hire? Cleveland City Council members say they've asked for details on his staff, but that hasn't happened. Five year side investigator Joe Paganakis went in search of some answers, and Joe, has the clerk of courts, Earl Turner, given you an explanation? Well, so far, no real answers, Danita. Just a two-line statement that basically says state law allows him to use the very same job description for nearly every employee that he hires. Absolutely, it's troubling um, that the department doesn't have a uh, broken out job description. Cleveland Councilman Kerry McCormick says the city clerk of court's office isn't adequately being held accountable for its seven million dollar budget and specifics on the 154 deputy clerks who work there. To the clerk, can we get a breakdown of the positions? During heated 2018 Cleveland budget hearings, McCormick and Councilman Brian Casey demanded clerk of court's Earl Turner provide specific job descriptions for his employees like every other city department or even provide an organizational chart so council members and taxpayers could see who is specifically being hired and how the tax dollars are being used. But at the council table these four times, he's promised to get us that uh, organizational chart, and yet here we stand, never have gotten anything from the clerk. Casey believes with the same deputy clerk job description for all 154 employees and a wide open salary range of $20,000 to $100,000 for each, it's a serious lack of accountability in hiring that could lead to a host of problems. You could have nepotism, you could have, you know, uh, not people not doing their jobs. I mean, who, who knows what's going on over there? We can't tell because we don't know who's over there. The clerk of court's office refused an on-camera interview, instead issuing a two-line statement saying the clerk of courts was created by the state of Ohio and is in compliance with state law when it comes to job descriptions and hiring. Still, Casey maintains taxpayers deserve more accountability. I don't know how he gets away with it. I know that there's no oversight uh, of the clerk's office. Uh, everybody over there is at will. There's no union, there's no civil service. And council members McCormick and Casey said they would consider trying to get the necessary votes to block the upcoming budget vote uh, in the future. That's if the clerk of courts does not come up with a more specific job description for them in the coming weeks and months. Reporting live here in Cleveland, I'm five on your side investigator Joe Paganakis.